place where there's only you and me. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused and I On. But every time I turn around, it seems like I'm up against the wall. My life's upside down. I need to rest away from all life's mess. In your secret place, so there's only I think I figured out how to tag people. So I tagged a few people that I could remember off the dome who were on the last live that we did last Thursday. So look at me being consistent. Woo -woo. And I am gonna give it a few minutes for folks to join on in here, to join on in. And I guess I could keep tagging, but We'll see, people can watch the replay later, it's totally fine. And actually, while I'm waiting for folks to hop on and Facebook to do all their notifications, I uh, wanna make a couple of corrections because last uh, video, I said firmation for when the bird was nesting on the eggs, but really it's incubation, <laughs> which was in one of my videos, but I wanted to make sure to make that, that correction uh, officially. And then also, I forgot to mention coconut water. How could I forget to mention coconut water? I love coconut water. And I find that a lot of people don't necessarily um, care for it. And so I wanted to talk about that just for a second here while I'm letting people join. Okay, hello everybody hopping on. How do I see who hopped on? Y'all know I'm new to this, I'm still learning. Um, hmm. I, no, I don't wanna invite. Well, anyway, I can't see who's on, let's see. Guest requests, viewers. All right, well, we just gonna keep it rolling. Y'all can, maybe once y'all start commenting, I'll be able to see it. Oh, that's better lighting, hey now. And so, um, coconut water. A lot of people don't realize that when you're dehydrated, coconut water will actually taste very sweet to you. And if you are not dehydrated when you drink coconut water, it will taste kind of like bitter and weird. And that's why a lot of people are like, oh, I tried it, I don't like it. Well, you were probably dehydrated when you drank it. So try it again after a workout or something and let it be cold and then you'll feel how refreshing it is. But that's actually, um, really, I should have said that before, alkaline water on the last video. Coconut water is one of the, the best waters. And so I was just making a couple of corrections to the last video before I dive in to this next one and I got notes this time and then also um, I forgot to mention acupuncture acupuncture is something that you can use that actually can treat kind of like the nervous system that's where they put the little needles all over you and so that's another form of self-care that you can do is that acupuncture and then last but not least, I kind of skipped over some of the nutrients, but that's an important piece, an important piece of the nutrients in your body that you're putting in and the vitamins and the supplements. And I should have put a plug for my Melaleuca. Shout out in there for Melaleuca. And I got all yellow. Look at me matching the yellow and gray. Okay. And so you can get your supplements at, at a discounted cost. It's a shopper's club. You know, inbox me for more. Okay, now I see people joining. Hey, all right. Hello, hello. 
Oh, thank you. Hello, hello, welcome. I'm getting better at this, y'all. So we're gonna, we gonna try to make it our Thursday thing. We're gonna see. And so now we got people hopping on, love it. And so I'm so happy, I feel so <laughs> back in the live, okay? So I gotta shout out to my hairstylist, Styles by Lady Bree, okay? Came through and hooked the girl up. <laughs> And then I told her these nails, I, sh I put them on my, um, on my story already, but Lord, I was so excited. Can y'all see? Hold on. So I, I had to get bright today. I said, I got to match these cuties. And this is a uh, She's Pressed at, on, on Instagram, on IG, uh, Tanika Marie. And I'll tag everyone afterwards, like I always do in the comments so that you all can, uh, you know, patron their businesses. I believe in supporting others and, you know, we all in this thing together, okay? Especially small business owners. And so today's topic, I think I went over all my corrections from last week. And so today's topic was actually part of a request. And so we had a request um, from one of my viewers from last week uh, that wanted me to talk about kind of um, what do you do next after after everybody's out gone out of the house. And so I uh, sat on it for a little bit. I took my own advice and meditated on it and it came out um, for me to share it with you all as such. And so get your nest in order and empty nesters what to do next. So that's the title of this one. Get your nest in order and empty nesters what to do next. And so in, in brainstorming and thinking about this, I was like, okay, well, I don't want it to just be for, you know, a specific category of people. So how do I, you know, talk about things? Hey, I just gave you a shout out, Brie girl, for the hair. Hey, and so how do I make it so that you all understand that we should all be thinking about this. We should all be thinking about getting our nest in order. We should all be thinking about our next steps. We should all be thinking about, you know, what we're going to do after you achieve one goal, then, then what's next, right? Where do you go from there? And, 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 and when is enough enough? And so one thing that I realize that we don't talk about a lot in our planning is actually getting our documents in order. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to start there with our documents in order because a lot of times in all communities, not even just African American community, in all communities, many people wait around and they don't they don't get the documents in place that you need to. And so I want to share that because that's something that all of us can do. It doesn't matter what age, it doesn't matter what age you are, it's something that can be beneficial for for your loved ones after you're gone right? Um, or for you, um, if you're the one getting it together for an elderly parent or for a grandparent. And so do you have a will? Do you have a will, right? A living will. Do you have one, right? Um, most of you don't, most of you don't like, but, but you need one and it can't just be, it could be something you write on a paper, but you need to get an official one, right? You can see uh, an attorney to help you out to get that so that you have that in order. Do you have a power of attorney set aside? A lot of times people don't think about this thing unless they have someone who's already sick. But sometimes, you know, God forbid, something happens and it's instantaneous. So if you didn't already have this stuff set up, it is a headache, okay, to get it set up. And so you want to make sure that you have this in order, your ducks in a row. And there's two types of power of attorney. There's a power of attorney for health. There's a power of attorney for your property. And you have to have both and it can be the same person that, that you de designate to take care of your health, or it could be someone else. And so uh, every state is a little different. So like in Nevada, you could have more than one person on for health. In Illinois, you only can have one. Um, and then for property as well. And so make sure that you have those documents in place because we just want to be prepared. We want to be prepared. We got to get our nest in order. And so that we're ready for whatever life um, throws at us, you're ready and you can make decisions. And that you've already expressed what your wishes are to your loved ones. Have you expressed it? Do they know? Is it written out where they could just read and follow along? Like if God forbid you have to be on life support, how long? How long do you want? And uh, to them to leave you on so that your wishes can be upheld, um, God forbid, the time. So I think it's something that people don't like to talk about, but um, you know me, I, I take things head on. And so it's important because it has to be done. It has to be done. And so another thing that people, I think, um, don't really remember to do, as I'm making sure to go over everything, is you know separate your, your personal finances and, and, and your trust. A lot of people make that mistake. And I find that a lot of them, um, 
of our elderly generation um, forget to do a long-term insurance policy, right? And so if you ever are in need of long-term care, do you have an insurance policy that will cover that? Um, because sometimes people think of everything but, everything but that, and that's something that you really do need. You really do need um, to have, you know? I, you, you rather need it, I have it and not need it, then need it and not have it. Trust me, because a 24-7 care can get pricey, okay? I have, yes, it can get pricey, okay? I've had personal experience in that regard. And so I find that, you know, when you're um, doing your life insurance, do you understand that there's life insurance that you can benefit from after death and there's life insurance that you can benefit benefit from right here and now, right? There's policies that you can get for your children that they can cash in when they turn a certain age, right? And so now you're creating wealth for them by simply paying a little monthly payment on a policy that you got when they were a baby. And so, um, and I'm no expert in this. I just have learned a lot from experience. I'm gonna put my plug for my sister girl, Iris Torres. She can hook you up on the policies uh, and I'll put her information. She's with PHP, PHP in the back, um, or I'm sorry, in the comments. But do you have this stuff in order? And so, do you have your funeral wishes in order? And lots of people don't like to talk about death, but, but we all live and we all do die. And so you do need to plan accordingly because it's, it's really unfair. It's unfair to leave your loved ones with, with the burdens of trying to figure out, you know, how, how to get yourself in order. Do you have all your passwords in the place? Does that person know? And do you have a backup person? Because you should have a backup, right? You have a, an alternate is what they call it actually in the legal terms. And so um, you designate a trustee and people don't realize that the power of attorney dies with the person. So it's not enough to just have the power of attorney. You also have to be the executor of the estate, the executor of the estate. And so, um, or the trustee and my, look, look my, my girl, Sahara, the, the actual attorney uh, just popped on. Shout out girl, Bell Law Group. Y'all look her up. She's amazing. And so it is important that we get our nest in order and our paperwork in order just in case just in case you rather have it and not need it and so i, I went to the deep stuff uh first just to touch on it and um and make sure i didn't miss anything and have you allotted what you want to go where and all that's done in the wheel but you have to make sure that you have these things in order and so what are you doing to get your nest in order um one thing that i actually found out at a young age and it came in handy for me because i got what's called i think it's an injury policy or um insurance policy and also they have somewhere if you um, aren't unable to work it will pay you due to illness it will pay you during that time and so I had signed up for it because my financial planner is amazing and he had told me to go ahead and get it and when I got sick it was able to pay me when I wasn't um, able to work you know back when when I did work for CPS uh, which is um, I don't know 2011 2012 now so it's been a while but but it was a beautiful thing because I was able to actually still get paid and I had that income. So in addition to my savings, and that's another thing, getting your nest in order, do you have six months savings set aside, right? And I had to learn this one the hard way, y'all, okay? You know, do you have it set aside? And sometimes you need more than six months because I was sick more than six months. And so thank goodness that I believed ahead of time in multiple streams of income. And so I was able to stay afloat and then I was smart enough to have gotten one of those policies. And so that way I was able to be paid when I was off work sick because you just never know what can happen you never know what can happen hey we got more people joining all i'm gonna call y'all my loyal faithfuls y'all with us from the beginning <laughs> thank you for joining and so do you have your house in order do you have that set aside because it, it really it really is important and it's important that the person you designate knows that you designated them so it's not a surprise <laughs> that you're on for everything uh, like i've had to deal with um let them know, okay, so that they understand they know where to go to get something that they need. They know where to find it. Like, you just have to have those things in order. And so that documentation, that paperwork is imperative, okay? And I'm talking about it because a lot of people don't like to talk about it. And one thing I realized um, is that when a loved one passed, a lot of times, like, we're, we're sad because we miss them. We're sad because we don't. Um, hey, shower girl. We're sad because we... You know we don't really know what happens exactly right we don't really we miss their presence we miss the memories but i'm here to tell you and i've, I've told a few of my friends who have had some some deaths during this time because a lot of stuff is go, going on right now okay with people passing and so um i think it's an important topic and people are doing virtual funerals and things of that nature and looking for paperwork and that's why you know you want to have it in order but um when someone passes, first of all, energy never dies. If you didn't know, energy never dies, okay? So the energy, you know, it goes back into the universe. It goes back to be uh, 
repurposed. But that person who gets to go to heaven, hopefully, <laughs> um, if they were an adult, right, or an elderly person, they actually go back to their prime. I don't know if you knew that, but they actually go back to their prime. They go back to the best, best time of their life when they were at their most joyous, most joyful, most jovial, most, you know, excited. They go back to whatever that time was for that person. That's what they go back to in heaven and they get to live out, you know, the rest of their days until their, their energy is sent somewhere else and so, or repurposed. And so, um, I personally, a lot of you may not know, but, um, my grandma, and shout out my grandma, I hope she's watching because um, I'm going to talk about her in here. But uh, she was saying, you know, Inez, one thing that really taught me a lesson was when your little brother died. And so um, my little brother, Sadiq, uh, rest in heaven, he passed it like 13 months. And so it was a while back and it was a hard one for everybody because nobody expects the babies to leave us. I think that's the hardest tragedy of anything. But... I found comfort in um, a vision that, that God gave me. And, and infants or children, when they go to heaven, they get to continue to grow up. They get to continue to grow up on the path they would have done on this playing field, on this earth. They get to continue in heaven. And so um, that actually made my heart smile. It made me feel just, I don't know, so much better. So I don't know who needs to hear it, but somebody does that that don't be so sad about death. Like we live and we die. It, it will happen to us all at some point, but know that that um, the transition can be beautiful and that we should remember the good times. We should remember the, the great memories that we have with them, the laughs, the loves, the hugs, you know, honor them on their birthdays, you know, but, but, but don't, don't let yourself go into a depression. And I think a lot of times when we have losses, some kind of way, you know, that's when the devil tries to seep in. And so you got to be careful. You got to be careful um, about your thoughts because your thoughts attract everything. Everything that goes on, your thoughts attract. So whether it's a positive or negative, whether it's good or bad, you have actually created it, whether you understand it or not. Like we were gifted the power of creation. We got the power of the tongue. And um, a lot of people don't understand how, just how powerful that they are. And so uh, I wanted to, to, to get the deep stuff out the way <laughs> and go into that to tell you um, to, to be encouraged, but get your nest in order and get your paperwork in order and make sure your children know. Make sure if you don't have kids, make sure you designated someone. Make sure that they know where to find things because you do need to be prepared. And if you all have questions about that, oh, as I go along, if you have questions, you can always comment. Let me see. I'm feeling very adult tonight watching this. <laughs> Than a financial uh, handling Zoom event. Come on now, Alberto. All right, yes, we're adulting. We are adults. <laughs> and so, uh, the topic, if you're just joining us, uh, the topic today that I decided to go over actually was part of a request was um, get your nest in order and empty nesters, what to do next. And so, the empty nesters piece, I was saying, you know, one thing that we all have to do, whether you're an empty nester or not, is get our documents in order and so get your nest in order and first and foremost now i gave all my shout outs i think all right and so a lot of times especially and this could be for women or men you know when you poured your heart out to um raising children and grandchildren and babies that maybe not aren't even your own right and then once they've left the nest right like our birds did uh once they left the nest and you become an empty nester then what that what do you do next? What's, you know, because your life kind of has revolved around them. And maybe you had a job. Maybe you retired from a job. Maybe, maybe you're widowed. Maybe you're a husband um, or maybe you're divorced, right? Whatever it might be, I want you to know that, that your story isn't over, that you aren't finished. You aren't done yet. That's just not how this works. Because if you were done, you'd be in heaven. So if you're still living and breathing this air and this atmosphere on this plane, that means you got something left to do. There's something left to do. Now it could be big, it could be small, and that's something that you do have to take that one-on-one -on -one time. And I talked about it in the last video, but I'm gonna always talk about it. You got to take that one-on-one -on -one time to meditate, to pray, to be still and listen, right? So that you can kind of get some divine direction as to what it is you're supposed to do. But I want you to think about a few things. One, I want you to think about what was that dream that you had when you were a little girl, a little boy? What was that dream that you envisioned yourself back then? Like, can you go back to that childhood? Can you go back to that little inner child that you have still inside of you? Because they are still there. <laughs> and think about what that was. 
What was that thing that you wanted to do or you wanted to create or you wanted to be? Did you want to learn a second language? Because that's a great thing to do, right? You can, you can always learn a second language. You're never too old to learn. You're never too old. My second language is Spanish. So uh, I do believe in, in being bilingual. And if I can pick up a third one, I will. I keep on fixing this bang. Oh, Brie going to get me. I'm sorry, Brie. But anyhow, back to what, what do you do next? And so that's the first thing I would think about is what do you do next? And so um, for... For people who maybe are, are remarried, you know, maybe you want to travel. Where have you not been that you always wanted to go? Do you have a map of the U.S., a map of the world? And can you, you know, throw a dart or, or pick up a place that you've always wanted to go that you never have? Maybe that's what you focus on and you save up for that trip. But whatever it is for you, it's going to be for you. One thing I am always getting on my grandma <laughs> and my mama about is they have not written down their recipes, okay? And I know I'm not alone in this. Everybody got a mama, a grandmama, uh, somebody that can cook, 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 okay? And you want their recipes. <laughs> and you know, when you're a good cook, you don't even really measure, you know? They're like, oh, I don't know. I just, I just feel it. I just put it in there. Like, no, no, no. I, I need you to measure it. <laughs> so I know how many tablespoons, how many teaspoons, how many cups of sugar. I need to direction step by step by step by step. And so I think that's one thing that all of the people that can cook should do, okay? We need y'all to leave us a recipe book so that that can be passed down because what you're doing is you're deciding how you're gonna be remembered. All of us, I don't care what your age is, you decide how you'll be remembered. You decide what your legacy is gonna be. Hmm, your legacy, what will your legacy be? How do you want people to remember you? You can, you can make that happen, right? And of course they'll have their own memories, but you can, you can put some outline and some framework into it, especially if you write it down or type it up or, or you know, put it in a format that can be transferred from this generation to the next generation and passed down. And those recipes, okay, that's one of them. There's a lady on YouTube, um, a Hispanic grandmother, and she got like a million subscribers and all she does in Spanish is teach people how to cook those, uh, those traditional dishes. And she's making bank from YouTube, okay, just by doing what she already does and loves and, and is just being recorded doing it. And her grandkids or somebody was smart to, you know, make her a YouTube channel. So. If you're not good with technology, get somebody that can help you. Okay, get somebody that can help you because you got somebody in your family uh, uh, somewhere in your circle that knows how to do this thing and can help you out. And so, shoot, even I'm still learning <laughs> how to do certain things. And so, um, and so that's a way. And, and YouTube is a stream of income. Okay, don't don't get it twisted. They make money once they hit certain subscribers on that. And so. And so that's something to think about. What is it that you do effortlessly? What is it that you do effortlessly that no, you know, it doesn't even, you don't even gotta think about it. You don't gotta plan it out. You could just do it, whip it out, and it's just great. Whatever that is, that's part of your gift. That could be cooking, it could be singing, it could be writing. Um, I mean, it could be a lot of things. It could be giving advice, it could be coaching, right? And this in this second or third phase of your life, maybe you're meant to be a coach or or a mentor, but Whatever the, the case may be, all of us, all of us are meant to do something. Everyone has a lesson. Everyone has a testimony. Everyone has some kind of advice, some kind of insight, some kind of something <laughs> that they can pass on to their next generation. Or honestly, even if it's not your immediate family, it could be it could be strangers that benefit from the things that you've learned. And honestly, sometimes strangers listen better than your own family. Okay, don't even get me started on that one. Okay, so hey, y'all. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, I had to get cute and bright. I had to match my nails, Lauren. I had to match my nails. I finally got it in order. Woo, thanks to She's Pressed. And so I love it. I love it. Thank you all for joining. And so what is it for you? What is that thing? Hey, Josh, my cousin. Yes. Hey, Marcy girl. And so what is it for you? What is it for you? You got to take some time and think about that because whatever comes easily and naturally and effortlessly, that, that's part of your gift. That's part of what you're meant to share. And that advice, I don't care how old you are, you have advice that you want to uh, uh, 
uh, give and impart. You have knowledge from, from, from your mistakes, from your failures, from your successes. You have something that you can share and impart wisdom because with age comes wisdom onto people. And I told my grandma, Joyce, I said, Grandma, we need this gumbo recipe. Okay, so I know the one thing you can do is write down this gumbo recipe, okay? <laughs> She's like, oh. I just, I just fill it out. You know, if you got the ingredients, I said, no, 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 no. We know to know. We need to know exactly how you make it. And I know everybody got a grandma or somebody with that, that special dish. And so, please, y'all, for us and for the future babies, write it down so we can keep that uh, good food coming. I love food, y'all. I'm a foodie, but. Um, but back to the advice. And so your insight, your advice, your lessons learned, you can write that down. You can, I mean, you might fool around and have a book <laughs> when you're finished with it. Because in this day and age, ebooks are short, quick, sweet, and to the point, right? And so it doesn't even have to be a lot, but you can have something. And it, whether you ever share it with the world or not, it's totally up to you. But at least share it with, with your children with your with your grandchildren with your god babies right share the knowledge that you've learned share the lesson so so hopefully hopefully they don't make the same mistakes and they can learn from your mistakes now sometimes we just got to go through the fire and you know we got to get a little burned you know i'm guilty of it we're all guilty of it but trust and believe um we don't want to keep doing that <laughs> And so, you know, I don't want to call it a manual, but maybe it is. Maybe it's your manual for life, your recommendations, your, your thoughts. Like, put it down because we, we need to hear from you, whether we realize we need to hear from you or not. And so it's something to think about, something to, to pray on, to meditate on, to, to really go in, go into. Another thing you can think about is, uh, you know, was there a business you wanted to start that you didn't start? You're never too old. You're never too old. You're never too old to start a business. You're never too old to, to learn a new language, to learn a new trade. You're never too old, right? And so think about that, you know? What is it for you? What, what was on your bucket list? I love the bucket list now. If you don't got a bucket list, make you a bucket list. What was on your bucket list? What have you crossed off and what haven't you? And how can you keep crossing them off or checking them off, okay? That's something good. Or do you need to make a new bucket list? Is it time for a new one? Is it time to, to actually, you know, put something else on there and see what you want to do in this day and age? Because, of course, you want to relax, relax, especially after you, you know, you've worked a career, you've raised babies and they're at your house. I get it. You know, you, you want a time for you. And that's totally fine. If you do absolutely nothing, it's totally and utterly up to you. But if you're trying to figure out, like, okay, well, I'm getting a little tired of doing nothing. What's next? I'm telling you. Write down that advice. Make sure you got your, your documents in order if you haven't. And I might have mentioned a couple here. Uh, go back and watch the replay in the beginning for, for all of them that I listed um, earlier. But, but go back to that little girl, that little boy inside. Go back to, um, to things you used to do, to traditions that, that you maybe started in your family or that got lost that you want to bring back. Write that down, you know, maybe because because maybe it's not your child that brings it to fruition. Maybe it's your child's child or their child, right, who goes back and reads it and wants and wants to bring it to life. And so uh, you don't know, but it's been put on your spirit. You've learned a lesson for a reason. And so I want you to make sure that you're actually operating in in your purpose. Oh, we go back to the purpose and the mission, operating in your purpose, because your purpose and your mission, again, are not the same, but they sometimes can relate. And, and are you doing that? Because your purpose, you know, could be to usher that soul, which is a beautiful thing, um, into, into life and into their purpose. And then once they kind of are, you know, flew to nest, they done left the nest, what are you, what's your purpose now? And so that's something that, that only you can answer. No one can answer that for you. No one can answer that for you. It's something you got to sit with, you know, something that you got to take the time and journal and write it out. Take the time to, you know, do pros and cons for, you know, starting something, not starting something. Traveling here, not traveling there. <laughs> you know, and, and look, if you're single, you want a man, get on a date nap, okay? <laughs> Find you one, right? Because we, we in quarantine, can't nobody really date, date. So... It's definitely something, um, and if you don't have a financial planner, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not, you definitely want to to get one. And, okay, I think I'm at 30 minutes that I'm on here. I'm trying to uh, time it a little bit. And so if you already got your nest in order and you already are, um, uh, 
you know, you got that check marks off and you got all your documents in order and you got your, your plan, you got your purpose. Well then, now it's time for you to take flight. Now it's time for you to take flight. Now it's time for you to soar. Now it's time for you to spread your wings. Now it's time for you to step out on faith. Now it's time for you to actually go after that dream that you've been putting on the back burner because you were putting everybody else's needs before your own. Now it's time for you to actually focus on you because you matter. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have joy. You deserve to be fulfilled in a way that, that, that nobody can take away your joy and nobody can take away your peace of mind. And let me tell y'all, you can't put a price on peace of mind. <laughs> You cannot. So, you know, I talked about it earlier. Is this somebody you got to X-nay at your space so that you can have that peace of mind? And um, if you are um, launching a business, because I had a couple of questions about topics and things, and people ask me, like, how do you keep multiple businesses in order? How do you, um, how do you keep your, your documents in order? And, and what are your tips for if you're doing more than one thing? You know, how are you keeping it all together? N number one, and an easy answer, outsource. <laughs> and if you know me, you know I'm the queen of outsourcing, okay? I'm going to outsource everything I can outsource. Because if I don't like to do it, I don't want to do it, I'm going to pay somebody else to do it. And I'm not going to better, I'm not going to think twice about it. Because I know that it's freeing me to be my best me. To do what I'm best at. To, to let my creative juices flow. So that I can be in the forefront or, or with my students or, or whatever it is. Right? And so when you outsource, then you aren't boggled down with a lot of the little things. And a lot of times people are mistakenly trying to do everything themselves. And that's a mistake in business. That's a big, big, big mistake in business. And so part of that is also getting your nest in order. And so if you haven't launched a business or even if you have already, have you sat down and wrote down everything that you do and where you could get some help? What you could actually have some assistance with? Is it a virtual assistant? Is it an in-home assistant? Is it both? Okay. And, um, I found this cool company. I want to make sure I get the name right. The Buddy Effect. Okay, so shout out to, to The Buddy Effect. Okay, and I'll tag it all later. But they're a great virtual assistant program that you can that you can hire to help service your needs. And um, my people in Mary Kay, we, you know, we all got our virtual assistants, especially for the sales directors, and that are helping us out. And, and my girl, Toria Coates, can hook you up too. Okay, and so you definitely want to have some help. Um, and, um, I love, I, I, I love outsourcing. So you have some help. So, so where did your help come from? Your help could be outsourcing for, um, for branding, for marketing, for, for even posting on Facebook. You can get a, a marketing strategist, start shout out to my Jetta Bates. Okay. You can get, um, someone who can create those beautiful images for you. You can get someone that posts it. So you don't even got to think about it and it's actually going on and your business is being advertised and things are happening. And so you got to make sure that you're okay to let go. A lot of times we aren't okay to let go. You got to let go. You got to delegate, delegate it to somebody else. And then you have to trust and believe that they're going to do it and they're going to do it right and well. And that comes with hiring. And, you know, there's a, there's a weeding out process and there's an onboarding process. And, you, you know, it takes a little while to find the right team. But you have to trust your team. You got to trust your tribe. You got to trust that, that they got you and they putting their best foot forward because, you know, it's their job and, and they want to, you know, look their best, which means they want to help you to look your best. And so or for your business to look your best. And so um, what kind of help do you need? And, and I don't care if you barter services or, or, you, or you pay them cash or, or whatever you're going to do, um, you know, figure it out, work it out. Is there a student? Is there a high school student or a college student or something that you can do an internship with and help? Because let me let you know, uh, they know how to do a lot, especially with the technology thing. Okay. <laughs> and so that's a great way, you know, that can be inexpensive to help and outsource, but eventually you got to graduate up. And so are you taking flight? So if you got your nest in order, you know, are you taking flight? And if you're an empty nester and you finally figured out what you're going to do, now you got to take flight. You got to take flight on it to see where you want to go, what you want to do, and how you're going to do it, and who's going to help you. Because you got to have help. I can't say it enough. You got to have help. You got to have help. You got to have help. Now, mundane tasks that, that don't require you, those are things that can be delegated. Um, a lot. Now, there are people out there who love to clean and, and those, you know, my hat goes off to you. Okay. 
but that is not my gift. <laughs> it, it is is something I know how to do, but it is something I don't like to do. Therefore, I have for as long as I've had an apartment of my own, I have always had cleaning people, okay? And so shout out to Clean Out Loud. Shout out to Clean Out Loud, um, my sister's cleaning company, and also uh, Antonio Mondragon. I'll tag them both in here, but you know, and Clean Out Loud will do home offices and get yard work, okay? So, and organizing. So, I mean, it, the cleaning people are, you know, you need some help because that time that you're taking to clean that office or to clean your home or to clean the kids room That is time taken away from you that you could be putting into your gift and where you could be operating your purpose Where you could be actually making some more money while they're doing that Okay, and so don't be afraid to to um to get a little help a little help never hurt anybody and um and it and it doesn't have to be super expensive but ooh, it's such a relief you know i can come home and, and everything smells like pine saw yes yes i ain't lifted a finger okay and so anybody can do it and so it's just a it's a mind shift set shift it's a mindset shift um that you have to have that, you know, I need to be free to do X, Y, and Z. So, so what can I delegate? What can I, what can I, you know, put here so that I can make more money here to pay for? And sometimes you take a little dip when you outsource. Sometimes you don't have the money to pay for the help when you got it, but trust, believe if you got somebody that you have to pay, you gonna up this up to make sure that you can pay them. Okay. Cause you're not going to not pay them. Right. And so it actually sometimes forces you to really boop, out the nest there go back to my boop <laughs> to push yourself a little bit so that you have the help that you need and so that your business can be more impactful for all of those watching another great thing i talked about the financial planner i talked about you know um multiple streams of income y'all know i believe in that you know and you got to have something that's residual income that's making money for you while you're not thinking about it where you don't actually have to put forth a lot of effort or maybe you put some effort in up front and then it begins to just keep on coming and you know i call it you know making money in my sleep i love it i love it i love it and so there's a lot of different businesses that you can do that can help with that um and credit is a thing and so i'm gonna put my fes uh, plug in here if you need a little bit of help with credit let me know and i can link you with a, a great company that actually helps to get things off of your credit to uh, increase your credit score it's amazing and you can make money doing it okay so definitely want to put that in there um as y'all know I, I multiple streams of income okay so i got my hands on a few little pots and um and even with Melo Luca and Mary Kay, right? You can make money with both. And so um, it's something that you can use the services or you can actually make it an extra stream of income and use the products. And so for all of those, I wanted to definitely talk about that. And so, and that's important because as a business owner, you got your credit and you have your business's credit and you, you know, you want that to be good so that you can get what you need whenever you need it. And so you have an emergency um, credit card there. Oh, one thing I forgot to talk about. The life insurance policies, a lot of times people don't know that if you pay your life insurance policy on time, you can actually cash it in. So let's say an emergency happens, you can cash in that policy and, and get the money that you put into it if it's um, caught up to date, right? If it gets canceled or something, then you just, you out of luck, okay? And so um, that actually can serve as a reserve. So if you're worried about having to pay whatever the dollar amount is a month to have life insurance on yourself or your household or your, the different people in your household don't because it's something that you can actually you know pull from if an emergency presents itself where you need it and then of course you're gonna want to put it back so you have it in case god forbid something else happens but i forgot to mention that I, that's an important piece and i say i got notes this time y'all and so make sure i can and cover everything and so outsourcing is um it's, it's a non-negotiable and so um, if your business is, you know, only in one language, you know, maybe you think about adding a translator, you know, so that you can now reach into another market and you can have a little bit, um, more diversity in your clientele and your, your customers. And also one thing I think was the most pivotal, pivotal thing that I've done. And I think I saw her on here. So shout out life coaches. Okay. Jen Sanderson. Ugh. Oh, Bless your soul. Danita Sadjus, uh, Ezra, I know a few life coaches, okay? They do their thing, right? They do their thing. And I, it's interesting because I was one of those people that never thought I needed help in that arena, never thought that I needed, um, you know, somebody to push me because I'm, I'm a very driven person if you haven't noticed. 
but sometimes you do like even the top of the top <laughs> the, the person with the most drive needs a little oomph or you need an accountability partner so if you can't afford a coach right now maybe you get an accountability partner someone um that can help you know hold you accountable for what you said you're going to do that you can strategize with at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month and you know make your plan work your plan and so um it's really good and if you're having trouble with scheduling um and things of that nature uh kira elliott with kimbra uh and her business um comfort fitness they they have an excellent scheduling program that can help you to really you know kind of get that in order and so i didn't even tell her i was giving her a shout out but it just came to my mind um because that's something that that has helped me a lot as well but a life coach um can help you in all facets of life and so i think as a as a business owner or even as someone who might be an empty nester it might be good for you to have that because it might help pull out of you what you really want to do and so sometimes you just need a little help you just need a little help to you know pull it out of you um and sometimes there's consultants that do that there's business consultants that can help you to um to you know kind of figure out what that business is and i've done that for for a few people as well and so um, let me try to read these comments because I haven't been reading anything, y'all. Hello, hello. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Ed. Hey, Dana. Okay, so if y'all had questions about anything, and I know some people are just hopping on, and so you might have to go back and watch the replay because because we wrapping up now. Oh, Khalil, I haven't seen you in forever. And so, oh, Miguel Curry, thank you. He said he's so proud of me. <laughs> thank you. And so... My auntie said, you got to start singing on your lives. I said, I, oh, maybe, maybe, you know, Michael, we, we perfectionists when you're, when you're a real singer. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I got to make sure it's perfect, perfect. But um, I'll make sure I didn't miss any comments here. Yes, great to see you, Kahende. Okay, I think I got them all. But if you have questions, please don't hesitate. If you have another topic that you want me to talk about and, and uh, want to hear some information on, go ahead and, and drop it in the comments or drop it under one of my... Um, one of my posts on my page because I, I want to make sure that what I'm you know saying is resonating with you is something that you all want to know more about and so today I went over what um, people had recommended and asked me to talk about last time or at least a few of it and so you know it's it's time for us to get our nest in order you got to get your nest in order you know and even if the nest is empty you got to figure out what's next and you got to take flight you got to take flight because now now is the time and I said that in the last one now is the time and so oh Kendall I love you boo and so I definitely want to thank you guys for watching if you're watching later hashtag replay <laughs> so that I know that you're watching. You can comment along as if you was watching with us live because I do go back and read the comments. I love it. Um, I got some beautiful messages, some beautiful messages that touched my heart after the last video. Um, so I said, okay, Lord, I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it going. And so um, uh, we are right right now. So it's just a week. So we're going to make Thursdays our day. And so I don't know if it's going to be at the same time yet or not. We'll, we'll see. But um but you know look out for next thursday because we'll do it next thursday and uh and if you want to know about my mary Kay look because i got to look more glammed up today you know you can hit up my independent uh sales director page and i can go through some of these beautiful makeup tips for the, the ladies <laughs> who uh who want to know how to get a glam look and i had to be bright to match my nails now and so let me just check to make sure i didn't forget anything um i talked about you know, a branding strategist, social media manager, delegating, outsourcing, you know, getting your YouTube and your, oh, I didn't talk about copyrights. Copyrights are very important too. You want to get your copyrights in order. So um, things that you've branded or if you have a, a certain name um, of your of your business or your show, you know, make sure you got your copyrights so nobody can come and infringe upon what, what that baby that you've created, that you've given birth to, right? And so um, you want to get your house in order, get your nest in order, get your documents in order, y'all. Get your documents in order. I know it's a rough topic and that's why I started with that one, um, but it needs to be said and, uh, and I'm okay. I don't mind saying it um i ain't scared <laughs> iris girl i gave you a shout out earlier for them to uh, hit you up for the documents okay to get those insurance policies and everything set up uh hello paulette and uh again i think that's it i didn't see any questions and so don't be shy y'all y'all can type comments you can ask questions and you can ask later too i'll go back and answer um or maybe i'll address it in the next live and so um i'm getting used to this and um and oh janelle my super sister love you girl and so 
I love that you all tune in. I love that you all um, are sending me requests. Keep them coming, keep them coming. And so that way I can make sure that what I say is something that's, that's beneficial to those who are hearing it. And if you like it, please give me a heart. And uh, the reason I say hearts and not likes is because the Facebook got algorithms that you got to be uh, in tune with. Okay, so you need the hearts or any other emoji. Not the angry faces though. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that energy. <laughs> But the hearts, okay, because it makes a difference. And so um, share it. Please share it because that's how things, you know, get to going viral. I don't really care about going viral or not, but I do want you all to share it because there is someone that's meant to hear something that I said today. There's someone that's meant to hear um, the advice that I gave about, you know, how you can get your documents ordered and what you should be doing. And I don't care if you're 19, 18, or 20, or 50, or 70, or 80. I don't care what age you are. <laughs> you need to get your documents in order and you need to operate in your gifts, your gifts, because Truth be told, when you're not operating on your purpose and your gifts, you're suffering. And that's when we have all of this depression and this, you know, the suicide that's plaguing our, our youth. And that's a whole other topic. But but part of it is, you know, getting in tune with, with who you're meant to be and what you're meant to do, what you're meant to create, and what you're meant to give out to the world. You know, is it, is it to be a comedian and, and bring laughs? Is it to just be uniquely you and, and, and help someone along the way? I don't know what it is, but but you do know, and it's, in, it's inside of you. And so you definitely want to take that time to meditate, to take that time to pray. And the 21 days of abundance, uh, I'm going to start another round in June. So if you want in, send me an inbox. It's totally free. Uh, let me know. And I'll, you have to have WhatsApp, and I'll put you in the group. But it's a beautiful thing, um, and it, it can be life-changing. And so, um, oh, Rihanna, Jada girl, you know I love you. You are so beautiful, girl. Don't you let any other thought come in your mind, baby. You are beautiful, all of you. Your skin complexion, your hair, girl. Listen, you got to do the doggone thing and show them that you're a 12-year-old entrepreneur, okay? Listen, shout outs. My baby is watching. Uh, that's one of my god babies, and I love her. And so, yes, yes, yes. And so that, that goes for every young child, you know? Like, you know know that you're beautiful, and make sure that you're imparting that on, on the children that are in your space because, ooh, kids absorb so much more than we realize. They absorb so much more than you know it's it's not it's not what's taught it's what's caught that saying is not just around just because that saying is around because it really is true <laughs> okay they're watching what you do they're watching you they're watching how you deal with stress they're watching how you deal with with money problems they're watching how you deal with with um failure okay did you get back up again i said that in my last one you know but remember that they're watching they're watching and and not even just youth you know you got your peers watching you got your family watching you can be an inspiration for people who are even older than you you know some of the comments and questions that that people wanted me to give advice on are from people who who i have looked up to people who are, are my seniors and and that is a compliment and a beautiful thing and i don't take it lightly i, I humbly you know, um, that's, that's not a mistake for y'all to don't know, but uh, I humbly, you know, say thank you. And I'm grateful for that because, you know, I don't believe that wisdom has an age. I do believe you get more age, more wisdom with age, but I don't believe it has an age. We all have something that we can share and teach and, um, that can benefit someone else's life and the world. Yeah, I'm all grown up now, Fred. <laughs> he knew me when I was yay high. I'm all grown up now. And so... Um, I love that you all joined. I love that you all uh, took time. And we're wrapping up, Alberta. No worries. And thank you for sharing it to your 2,000 friends. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Hit the share button. Hit the heart button. Um, Inez K. Jones at all social media. I always forget to do that. At Inez K. Jones. I-N-E-Z-K-J-O-N-E-S. Okay. On everything. Everything that is social media related. And so... Please do follow me. I'm looking to get the Instagram followers up and figure out a way to get these videos over there on Instagram. Um, but it might be through my YouTube channel as I embrace and push myself out the nest and I take flight on on a different um, part of my mission. You know, because your mi your mission and, and your purpose, you know, they can be intricate. There can be different pieces. Hey, Carmen Boo. There could be different pieces that have to come together. And so don't let anyone put you in a box don't let anyone tell you that you only can do one thing that you're only supposed to be one thing that you can only you know focus on one thing like oh 
I hated hearing that. <laughs> and a lot of times it stunted my growth when I listened to people who, who had that mindset, whom I respected, and they had their reasons for saying it, of course, but you know your limitations. You know what you can do, you know what you can't do, you know when it's too much and you know when it's not. So trust you, trust you, trust your inner intuition because God gave it to you for a reason. Trust that you know what's enough, what's not enough, what's too much, okay? And what you can handle and, and you can be multifaceted. You can have gifts that are in a lot of different areas and there's nothing that says that you can't and then turn them into ways to make you some money because you know, you gotta live, we all gotta live and, and, and I, I like nice things. So, you know, uh, that, that cost. <laughs> But I do hope that this blesses you all. And oh, Lord, I, I tried to make it shorter this time, but I got on a roll and I went over. At first, I was only going to do one of the questions, but I ended up doing it, um, all three of the, the requests that I got um, in this live. So that's fine. And I'll edit the title accordingly. But thank you all for joining. And if you get tuned in late, go ahead and uh, hashtag replay, rewind and, and watch it from the beginning. But I think that's everything. You know, now's the time. Take your leaf, get your nest in order, you know, take flight so that you can be who you are meant to be. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a fantastic Thursday evening and I shall see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>